Gareth, congratulations. I was just wondering how much you're looking forward to going back to Wembley and what you made of the performance tonight. Yeah, well, I, I said yesterday I thought it was actually really great for us to come away from Wembley because um, it would have been really hard to replicate the atmosphere from the Germany game. So to come here, prepare differently, play in an historic stadium on a night that was beautiful for football with the weather, um, I think inspired the players and um, uh, they, they gave a fantastic performance. You know, not only the players that started, but um, the players that came into the game. Uh, they kept the momentum going. We were able to get the players off who were on a yellow card so and a couple that are carrying knocks. Um, but actually, I'm more thinking about the players that I had to leave out of the 23 and the ones I didn't get on the pitch because, yeah, they've been such a massive part of what we're doing. And um, it's so difficult to, to keep a group of this size um, involved, happy, feeling valued and um, yeah, and yet those guys have been phenomenal with the way they've sacrificed themselves for the group and they've understood the importance of the group. We're, we're in a semi-final because of that spirit in, in a lot of aspects. Of course, the quality of the play as well, important. But, um, you know, I've, I've seen lots of nations go out of tournaments because the spirit hasn't been like these boys have got and um, it's, it's something very special that they've got to recognise. Thanks, Alex. Plenty of hands raised. We're trying to keep it to one question each. Next to Duncan Wright, the son. Congratulations, Gareth. Uh, talking about spirit, you, you've ignited a nation. A lovely quote about having a beer. I mean, do you want them to party hard on, on the back of what you're doing? Well, within the rules, <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, it's... it's um, yeah, I'm conscious... It's not, our, it's not just our country that's been through so much difficulty, um, but we've also had a lot of division for a little while, and I know that these England nights are nights that bring everybody together, communities, families, and so to give them so much enjoyment over the last two matches in particular, but I, I think the ones before as well, um, and to have them with hope looking forward now is... is, is part of the privilege of being in the job, really. Thanks, Duncan. Mark Man Bryans, PA. Hi, Gareth. Um, Hi, Mark. You know, you're now only the second England manager to lead the nation to semi-final in both the World Cup and European Championships. I know you're not one for personal achievements, but you must be almost bursting with pride at getting something like that, actually. Well, when I look at the people who are in that list of uh, England managers, you know, Sir Bobby and Sir Alf and, yeah, uh, you know, so many of the managers that have gone before. I mean, it is, it is an absolute honour to be in, in that sort of company. So um, I know how, I, how high I hold them in esteem. And, um, yeah, it's lovely to be able to get the results that, that are putting our country, you know, on the, on the football map again, really. Thanks, Mark. Sammy Mockbell, Daily Mail. Hi, Gareth. Hi, Sammy. Um, you've, you've, got, um, you've got a team and a squad now who, who have played in some of the biggest games in, in club and world football. Um, two semi-finals, as you say. Three semi-finals. Do you feel that this team and this squad now have got what it takes and the minerals to go that one step further and, go, and get over the line? Well, that's that's the challenge for us now. You know, we know that um, we had two games with Denmark in the autumn, and you know, I knew what a good side they were before, and uh, uh, they've proved that again in this tournament. They're obviously riding a wave of emotion after what happened with Christian as well, and that's that's understandable. So, it's uh, it's going to be a, a, a fantastic game to be a part of. We have got more experience as a group of those sorts of games and, um, and individually the players have got experience of those games which is definitely helpful um, but we've got to do that now on uh, on Wednesday night Thanks Sammy, James Olly, ESPN Hi Gareth, uh, congratulations um, James. We all know England's record in tournament knockout football particularly before you took over so how much pride do you take that this group 
that conviction in a knockout game? And, and, and how far do you think they've come in terms of that mindset of being able to, to deliver in these high-pressure moments? Yeah, I think, you know, teams have to go on a bit of a, a journey and um, they, they have to go through some pain sometimes to be able to progress. And, you know, we've had um, some great nights over the last four years, but we've also had some painful nights and we've learned from all of those experiences and that's definitely helped us prepare for another tournament and prepare for the individual games we're... we're you know, with, with the understanding of each other, uh, you know, the players of how we want to play, and also the recognition that, you know, in moments like tonight, we, we didn't want to take a backward step. We wanted to really grasp the opportunity rather than hope that we might win or, you know, let, let fate have a chance to play its part. And um, I thought the players were decisive and ruthless all night. Thanks, James. Jacob Steinberg. Gareth, uh, you made a, a lot of um, play recently in the uh, previous games about the lack of um, goals from set pieces. So you must be pleased with what you saw tonight from uh, from, from Luke and Mason, particularly Luke. You know, with the two two assists tonight, he, he obviously was someone who was out of the side for quite a long time, out of the squad because of you know the challenges that he's gone through, and he you know, he's, it seems like he's really taken the the chance that you've given him. Yeah, I feel as if his performances have have really you know improved every game and um it's understandable in that he you know it was a long time that he wasn't with us in march was his first game with us for a, a few years and uh you often play in those games trying not to make mistakes rather than really going and flourishing and you know i think he feels comfortable in the environment now he knows how we want to play he knows that he fits in with that and um yeah the delivery was great and, and yes, we were really pleased. We've talked a lot this week about set play goals. We've put more emphasis on it again. And um, it looked like we were going to be dangerous in training yesterday. And very often that transfers into the game. And that's what happened. Thanks, Jacob. Uh, Aralus Uldsada, VG Norway. Hi, Gareth. Congratulations. Um, you took over an English team uh, that had won three, three knockout games. Editions. Sorry, and, uh, three three knockout games in the ten previous competitions, and now you've won one, one four of uh, yeah four of five really. Um, how? What do you think are the keys to that uh, transformation when it comes to these these games? Um, well, th there's been so many things along the way, um, so many people involved. We've got fantastic players. We've got a really great staff. Um, in in every department that create a good environment and a professional environment, um, and of course we've had to suffer a bit to get to where we are. You know, we, we we've had some difficult nights, some tough performances, um, but we, we are now playing with a lot of belief, and um, I think the players can see what's possible. We still have. Uh, you know, a long way to go and we, we, we're not satisfied. You know, tonight is a, another really enjoyable night for everybody, but I've got to say, I'm, uh, you know, I was already before the end of the game thinking about the next challenge and um, that's, that's the one for us. We've never been to a European Championship final, so it's, it's another opportunity to make history. Thank you, Alice. Uh, next to Ian Abrahams, talk sport. Okay, Ian, are you there yet? No, it will... It was oh, special yeah. in, in Russia, but is it going to be even more special on Wednesday, a semi-final for you at Wembley? Well, it's an amazing game to be a part of um, because to, to be able to lead your team out um, in any game at Wembley is special. To, to have a semi-final, of course, extra special. So, um, yeah, we, but... We won't win the game just because we're at home. You know, we've got to play well. We've got to be as well prepared as we have been for all of the matches, and um, we've got a, we've got a, a fabulous opportunity. It's um, it's it's a as I said earlier to to the other guys, it's a chance to make history. We've never been to a European Championship final, so 
um, it's not so much pressure for this team. It's it's another challenge that they they've got the chance to take on, and at the moment they're rising to those challenges. Thank you, Ian. Um, Nino Dewey is having an issue with his microphone, so I'm going to ask a question on his behalf, and this will be the final question. Gareth and Barfin Nino, he asks: England has not conceded a goal yet in the tournament. What makes the English defence so good at the moment? Well, we, our defenders are playing well, and our goalkeeper is playing well. And um, that's not just been the, f the four players tonight, because obviously we've, we've had changes in other games where players have kept clean sheets. But it's been a collective. You know, our forward players are working so hard to stop the opposition. Um, the midfield players are, are covering the spaces. Um, you don't keep clean sheets just as a defence. So it, or, although it's a great feeling for the defence and they should be proud, um, it's a collective thing and I think the players are seeing the rewards of that and they're buying into that and um, we, we've known that it would give us a great chance in the tournament and tonight we were able to add the goals and a bit of a, a bit of panache in the way we played and um, yeah, a, a, a special evening but um, we're, we're on to the next challenge. Okay everybody, we'll conclude it there. Thanks for joining us this evening. Thank you.